hope you all doing very well today I want to discuss about about the pop what is what exactly is doing the pop uh, instead of oops right pop basically the new programming approach and uh, which is based on the class structure in a using protocol and uh, Swift doesn't uh, as we all know the Swift doesn't support the multiple inheritance therefore the pop will come right and uh, the ability of inherit the multiple uh, ability to be used in your class a protocol oriented programming lets you add the ability to a class or a structure or enum with the protocols which support the multiple implementation as well right and uh, what is the what was the issue what was the issue in the oops uh, so it's has come uh, to the pop right the issue was uh, for the op, uh, for the oops an object oriented programming uh, design with the single uh, single inheritance language uh, such as the Swift uh, can lead the bloated uh, super classes because uh, we may need to be included the functionality that is needed by only the few of subclasses right if you mean uh, mean to say if you are inherit a, a class uh, a parent class uh, a parent class into the child class then every property is ex uh, every property you can access from from your parent class so so which i don't need to be access uh, but uh, but i have a compulsion for uh, for accessing that property into the child class so that that's why we are using the pop which uh, which i have need to be add the properties that i can be add otherwise i don't need to be add the properties i don't need to be add that property into the uh, child class right and another issue was uh, the object oriented design is is we would not create the constants uh, in our super class that can be set by the subclasses and uh, let's uh, make a different few few difference uh, you should need to be understand the what is the difference between the pop as well as the oops oops was the object oriented right uh, it, it was the object oriented but the pop was which uh, which is structure oriented programming right and the program in the oops if you can see in the oops the program is divided into the objects but uh, in in your pop program is divided into the functions right and this approach uh, oops is the bottom up approach but in the pop top down approach is here so these are the these are the differences uh, to uh, to op and as uh, uh, and the pop right let's see what is doing the oops and then, uh, then i will apply the uh, pop features in my applications let's see i have uh, oops concept here uh, you should understand the understand uh, understand the functions of the oops uh, what is exactly is working uh, I have a class of the bird, right? And bird has a name, has the feathers, right? It can be fly, but uh, some fly, uh, some birds cannot fly. But I have an properties that it uh, that can be fly. I have initialized the name and feathers and name and feathers. But uh, this the second class I have this uh, second class which is uh, which is the which is the child class for this is the subclass bird right and i i have added the bird of every i have inherited this right the bird into the uh, into the parrot parrot can fly okay it's right it can fly but i have override here because this function already used in in the in the, in the subclass right sorry in the superclass so that's why it's using in the uh, into the override here if you are using this is the final right final functions but uh, it it cannot be used in into uh, into the override of function on the other uh, other classes if you are not using the finals it means you can override here right in your class now second is the i have the second body is the eagle and you can see what the eagle is here 
you can see this is this is an eagle right and it can fly and it it has the feathers right and uh, it has fly and it has feathers it has the name as well right so second I have I have a name and feathers right and it can be fly as well now I have a penguin right but the, I have inherited here the bird it means I have but the penguin is not fly right it cannot fly but I have an properties of the fly right you can see a penguin is not fly it's because it has a bulky size and as well as it has not the feathers right so but I have the features but I don't need to be these features but I have a compulsion in oops you can override here so I can remove this compulsion and this uh, uh, mandatory fill which is uh, inherit here so according to the if you just need to be uh, okay let's uh, I have an object I just need to be create the object of uh, what I have the parrot right I have a parrot here right parrot here yes. and uh, parrot name is is the parrot right and it has the feathers it means the two feathers here right and I just need to be uh, obg all right and it fly okay it can fly and I can also the print uh, what exactly here obj all right feather yeah feathers is here you can run the build it can fly right two feather it can fly because uh, I don't have I did not add the parrot is uh, the print so that's why is not it's override here but uh, I cannot add the print here right if you don't need to be add this and just run the build what exactly is doing I can fly here because I don't want to be override here but I can but it can be fly it can be fly because the uh, bird has the features of the fly right similarly I just need to be called this one's eagle uh, sorry uh, penguin right I have a penguin right let's copy and paste here penguin is here all right right and this is the penguin all right it has no feather right but let's see what happened uh, I have I have override here just commit it as well <coughs> let's see I can fly but I cannot fly this feature is coming from this one class this one's class but I don't need to be fly because I ha I don't have any properties of the flying right so this is this is this is will and this will remove from uh, at the uh, using the concept of the pop right okay let's uh, how to use the pop concept right pop use right wait a seconds uses I have already used the pop uses and uh, you can see what exactly is doing uh, let's I have a protocol uh, using the protocol I just need to be add the multiple inheritance in my function in my structure in my classes as well right let's uh, I have used the bird too this is the protocol and second is the flyable protocol bird name is the name gate and set is here right and flyable if there is a flyable any birds that can fly otherwise it cannot fly right I have an extension for the flyable he is here fly 
I believe I can fly, right? And another protocol is featherable, right? And uh, I have already said the featherable is get and set here. And extension is here, right? And uh, the get is I have feather, right? I have feather, then I have feather will be written, right? And I have another structures. Uh, I we are using the class here, right? We are using the class here, but uh, we all I have already discussed uh, the pop is, uh, is is structure based, right? And it's not the object based. That's why I have created the structure here. And parrot can parrot is a bird. It's right. It's a flyable. Yeah, it can fly. And it's featherable. Yeah, it can featherable. Right, it's it's has a feather, right? So I can use the which I needs here, but it can it's coming from here, its name. Okay, let's remove this ones, right? What is that? This is okay. Let's complete it. What is exactly doing here? And featherable is I have uh, extensions for the featherable now I have a structure of the parrot and this is the bird it's bird tick flyable and featherable all right I have initialized the name and similar work with the eagle eagle 2 bird 2 and this is the flyable and this is the featherable and the name is a string and initialize here's the name with the string right and I have the last one which I have stuck right and uh, the that uh, the, the some features is not here for the penguin right and uh, I have it's the birds it is the birds but it's not flyable and in it's not featherable and uh, it's the heavy uh, heavy heavy it's a heavy that's why it's not flyable all right and I have only the one properties here is the birds, right? I don't need to be other properties to be inherited here, right? So that's why we are using the uh, protocol oriented programming to be uh, added for uh, uh, for you uh, to be add the multiple inheritance, right? Or right, let's uh, let's print what exactly is doing and let object is here what object and that is the penguin right sorry penguin is to will call from structures here name is penguin right now what what is the object object dot only the name it's not a fly because i don't have inherit any fly protocol right i don't have inherit right so that's why i can print only the name right i can print only the name nothing else right so object name is here you can print the penguin right okay this is the optionals okay this is the pang penguin is here Okay, one more thing. Now this is uh, this object is uh, related to the other thing, uh, uh, other uh, structures. So what is the structure? Uh, let's call to the penguin. Uh, let's call to the parrot, right? Parrot two. It's no. It's not only the name. Let's what we have here. I have the name, right? Call is the parrot, right? and I just need to be object is fly okay I have a fly and object is featherable is the featherable is here right it has a feather and print is the feather right all right is everything is fine okay let's run the build okay I have feather I believe I can fly you can see here's 
what is exactly what exactly is doing with the protocol and i believe i can fly because i have an i have this properties for the parrot too right and i have a feather for parrot too so this property is also inherit in the parrot too so this is the very important features which is used by the pop right all right guys hope you all guys has understand and uh, everything is very proper i have explained so hope you guys enjoy with this video if you have any doubts you can comment below i will reply soon please subscribe my channel it will motivate me for making more videos thank you guys bye and take care